So greetings. Uh, let us look at the details about how to connect CO2 slash air, water encephalator, water jet, that is the auxiliary water jet and the suction tubing. In the previous uh, video, uh, we just uh, looked at it briefly and now we will look into it uh, details so that we can set it up. So here is the endoscopy tower with all the tubings uh, already connected, CO2, auxiliary water jet and suction. And let us take a close-up view of these connections. So first, let's talk about how to set up CO2 lens cleaner setup. So take a few seconds and see uh, the bottle, the tubing and where the tubings are going. And let me take you through step by step. Step one, take a sterile lens cleaner bottle and it's important to take a sterile lens cleaner bottle every day. And then the next step is to label the bottle with the date and time so that we know when to change the bottle. And then fill the bottle with sterile water. And then take two sterile tubings, one tubing goes to the CO2 encephalator and the second tubing goes to the air water supply connector. Turn on the machine or the CO2 encephalator and then select the parameter in terms of the flow, high, medium, low and ultra low depending upon the type of case you're doing and the timing 30, 60, 90 and 120 minutes depending upon how long each procedure is expected to go. So we've learned about how to set up the CO2 lens cleaner setup. Next is look at auxiliary water jet setup. Take a few seconds to see where the tubings go from the water canister to the water pump to the auxiliary water connector and the foot pedal that uh, generates the water jet. So let us take, to, take step by step. When you come in, take a fresh water can canister bottle Label the canister with date and time. This is very important uh, uh, to make sure that we have better infection control practices. Fill the canister with water and run the tubing through the water pump machine. And then the other end is connected to the auxiliary water jet connector. In terms of the foot pedal, until the endoscopist is in the esophagus, keep the foot pedal away because accidentally pressing on the foot pedal when the machine is on could uh, flush a lot of water into the pharynx and the patient can get, can get into problems with aspiration. So important to put the foot pedal away until the endoscopist uh, has passed the scope into the esophagus. And then turn the uh, water pump on. Select the speed of the water jet. Uh, and there are different speeds. And depending upon the endoscopist preference, you could pick up the speed that the endoscopist wants to use. So we talked about the auxiliary water jet setup. It's fairly simple. And uh, if the water doesn't come through, you may need to figure out when the tubing is going through the water pump, 
whether it is kinked or not. Next, let us look at how to set up the suction system. So, take a few seconds to see the diagram to appreciate it. It is fairly simple. Again, step one, take a fresh suction canister and connect the canister to the suction connector of the endoscope and another tubing to connect it to the vacuum pump. And then once the connections are secure and the suction canister is airtight, turn on the vacuum pump to the desired level of vacuum that you want to set up. So, in summary, we talked about how to set up CO2 slash air water encephalator, how to set up water jet system, and how to set up the suction system. All these three things are very critical for the endoscopist to perform well. Thank you.